Roderick Manson is a poet, a member of the Ties to the Tay project. Here he talks about his poem, Chase the Evening, and its inspiration, the River Tay. Well, the, the idea, in it, to put it as its simplest, came simply from, it just popped into my head. They do that, it's annoying, but uh, there's nothing much you can do about it. But, if you, but looking back, the idea of a river from, from source to sea is literature is, well, it's as old as storytelling, as poetry itself. Doing it the other way around is much more unusual. It, it, you don't have the same life to birth to death metaphor that you do doing it the other way around. But I remembered years ago I was on Eriski and there's a rock face there, a few hundred feet long, 20 feet high, and somebody had painted a rudimentary Stations of the Cross on it. And I thought it'd be a nice idea just to do a similar thing for the, for the entire Tay Valley, you know, a, a Stations of the Tay. Because I was born just up the road there in the, in the West Ferry, and over the years I moved out into the mountains, and I started climbing, I started getting interested in botany, geology, history, all the rest of it. And it all links together. And there's, re there's recurring themes in the poem, life motifs, Wagner would have called them. And it's all about trying to bring these together, try, trying to sort of get what it is that links history and geography. And it's us. The full film of Chase the Evening will follow the River Tay from its mouth to its source, including the stories and geographies along the way. Updates on our filming progress over the coming months can be found on the Ties to the Tay website, shown here.